I'm in pain and that's a lot of work that I gotta do for the bar exam today. I feel like I'm I'm behind. But I'm just gonna keep pushing and try to do what I can within my capacity, my mental capacity, as well as physical capacity, because I'm in a lot of pain. Um I went to the doctor yesterday. Uh, been experiencing for we we really I've been experiencing um back pain, neck pain for the last for the last few years, really. Been trying to manage it with pain pills, uh physical therapy, um chiro chiropractor, stretch lab. I've been going to uh, try stretch lab. I think it's helpful, but is it uh, to a certain extent? I see a little difference, but you got to keep going. And it's very stretch lab is very expensive, and I had the extra money. Um, I did go, but I don't have the money now, and I don't have the. Really, I really don't have the time either because their contracts are real funny. Like you, it's like a type of use it or lose situation. But anyway, uh. Aside from that, look at this. Aside from that, um, oh, I said my prescription, and I tried to get my prescription today. Make sure you send your prescriptions to the right type of pharmacy that's open on the weekend, because I didn't know um, Walgreens was going to be closed today. I thought they was going to be open. I guess not all pharmacies are open on the weekend, but. Some are, I should have checked or whatever. I don't know. I guess I can wait till my dad took ibuprofen. She prescribed me some other type of muscle pills, muscle relaxers that don't make you fall asleep. So I'm going to try them. And she's going on her honeymoon. And so tell me to let her know how it works, if it works or not work when she uh, comes back. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here real quick today um youtube is probably one of the most vi most visited websites that i use personally on a daily basis i just i really watch my favorite content creators in various areas really about but, but most of my favorite youtubers are small people who don't have a lot of Probably less than 10,000. Most of them have a couple hundred, maybe not even a hundred, less than a hundred. People just starting out. But my favorite YouTubers uh, help me sometimes in my daily life, just going through the same things that I'm going through, which is poverty, <laughs> homelessness. Well, I'm not homeless, but I experience homelessness and uh, unemployment and uh, stuff like that. So. I watch my separate favorite YouTubers. Sometimes I click on different new YouTubers I've never heard of before. Um, just because of the title. Um, you know, similar similar titles, of course, you're going to click on it. So, um, this morning, it's probably, it's probably a habit at this point. Habit. I was learning about habit yesterday in evidence. But anyway, it's probably a habit at this point where I watch YouTube nearly every day. Uh, I... I Help me get up in the morning sometimes. Just the struggle to get up. I might turn on the song uh, or something or a video. So I saw this video this morning. Um, let me see. From this guy. Wait. Okay. His name is. Um, his YouTube. He only got 47 subscribers right now. So he's probably just starting out. Um, he's homeless right now, which is very heartbreaking. I hate to hear about homeless people because I, it just made me sad because I experienced homelessness as a child, three times as an adult, and it's just heartbreaking. I really hate to see people homeless, whether you're a man or a woman or people with children or without children. It's heartbreaking, but what can we do? But talk about it and try to manage it, but... His name is, well, his YouTube channel is K O S T L E, the spelled the T H three, the is spelled with the three instead of an E, the pupil. So I think it's Costa the pupil. Um, about a 10 minute video he posted two days ago. 
29 years old and homeless in 2024. So he's homeless and he's he's talking about his situation. And he was also discussing um, content ideas. I think a lot of us want to be YouTubers or content creators on whatever platform, it, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I think those are the main platform. Maybe Twitter is a goal. Twitter, they got a lot of platforms. Reddit, uh, Medium, which is owned by Twitter. And then they got the other one, Quora. So whatever, I think YouTube is the main one, in my opinion. Um, but he was talking about, like... I guess gaining traction and growing his YouTube channel in order to not be home and maybe make some money on YouTube, become a content, become a content creator. And he, I mean, he gave me some ideas myself. Like if you just, if today in this world, we could just open our camera on our phone and upload a video. And he was talking about um, some ideas he had or he thought about food videos. He said food videos is a lot of, uh, a lot of views, which is which is true because I've posted videos on different stuff, and I noticed that the food videos get more views. So I've wanted to um, do food content, um, which is what I want to do. But I'm studying for the bar exam, so I'm trying to balance that as well. So I might I might do some more some more videos. On food um and then he said financial content financial content uh he said those get a lot of views and it's he said we live in a, a fake it till you make it type world because a lot of those people you know it's, it's there's they're posting the content but they're not really financial guru they have no experience they have no education or uh, well no as, you know, no certifications, you know, went to college or anything like that. But today, it seems like education doesn't even matter. You can just be on the internet and be a guru, a financial guru. He said financial content gets a lot of views. Um, Got to make this bigger. Like, he said he saw a video called Seven Successful Habits of a Millionaire. That got a lot of views. He said he saw a video called How to Make a Million Dollars in One Year, and that got a lot of views. And these people are just posting the content. It's like, fake it till you make it. They ain't really did it. They, it's just the information. Um, he said you can fake it till you make it, which is what I already just said. Uh, how to how I made $3 million last year off of four YouTube pages. That was another video that he talked about that got a lot of views. And... He said, another thing he said, um, you can minor, you can drop a video, it might not get a lot of views at first, but he said these are tried and true and tested ideas, which is the content in the food video. Food video get a lot of views. He was talking about some, some guy that, I think he said he's Mexican or something, and all he does is food videos, and he gets a lot of views. Which is true. I don't. I don't. I don't really watch food like food video, like food review videos, because I don't eat that type of food. So I have no interest in like pizza or like I, I eat a healthy lifestyle. So I will. I'll probably click on like vegan videos or something healthy smoothies, juicing and stuff like that. I do want to buy a juicer. Juicers are expensive. The one that I want, the Nama one. So, yeah, I want to do juicing videos, smoothies. And I know it would get, I know it would get a lot of views. Or not a lot of views, but more views than just general stuff about yourself or your life. Um, he said, even if it doesn't get a lot of views, you can minorly adjust the thumbnail and the title of the video. And next time, it probably will get more views. So, you could just... I've, I've done that before where I've posted the same video and just adjusted like the thumbnail and the title and it got more views. So that's just some ideas I wanted to share today, Saturday, May, May 18th.
before I get started with my studying is that uh, if you want to be a YouTuber, content creator, do it, open your camera and try some of those I, I those true and tried and tested ideas like food. You Everybody eat. Upload videos of you cooking, chopping up food. I've literally made a salad and it got like 6,000 views, so. <laughs> Whatever, it could be a smoothie. You can make it a smoothie. You can be cutting up fruit and vegetables or prepping food or something like that. Or do financial content, you know. Everybody's looking to make money, how to save money, be frugal. Or just talk about your life. You get started. That's what I do. I post videos. So it, it really don't. It might get me. It might get views later on. You never know. Because I've seen. Like some of my favorite YouTubers. They've been on YouTube for 10. Like 10 years. 20 years. And those. Those early videos don't get a lot of views. But they still. To me they still important. Because they, they are talking about important subjects. So I go back sometimes and go and view like my favorite youtubers who have grown like walter Lee's hampton he got a lot of video videos from like 10 years ago that didn't really get a lot of views but what he's saying in the video is still important and yeah just 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 start just get started but if you get one view two views no views just start if you want to be a content creator or whatever platform <laughs>